intricate motifs carefully crafted into one of the most valuable fabrics in the world. This is the Jamdani, a textile that originated here in what is now Bangladesh many centuries ago. Historical accounts from the British East India Company show exports of Jamdanis in the 1700s worth millions of rupees. This ancient art is passed on from one weaver to the next over hundreds of years. Jahangir Muhammad started learning the craft when he was just eight years old. I can create designs and weave, but studying, I just couldn't remember anything. Today he's teaching others. Traditionally, Jamdani weavers were Muslim men, revered by their Mughal rulers, who were patrons of handmade fabrics. Now weavers from all demographics, including women, are learning the craft to prevent it from dying out. It was my great-grandfather who started in the trade. If my son doesn't want to do it, I'll have to teach someone else. This is the only region in Bangladesh where weavers are producing the original Jamdani fabric. In almost all the houses here, a Jamdani loom is an essential part of the furniture. Going back to your time, the people in this area have traditionally worked in the Jamdani trade. And even today, there are more than a thousand families living here dedicated to the craft. Recognizing the importance of keeping the arts alive, one entrepreneur, Munira Imdad, launched a journey to revive the Jamdani three decades ago. Encouraging weavers to go back to their looms, orchestrating sales to retail shops to keep them in business. The new generation of weavers don't want to get into this monotonous work. It's hard for us to explain to the young ones how to do this work. Some 15,000 weavers work under her guidance today. She began marketing the saris not just in Bangladesh, but overseas as well. 5,000 pieces of jamdanis are sold each year, mainly in markets across South Asia. The subcontinent is the main market, then maybe others who live abroad, they demand a lot. Internationally now the Jamdani pattern, the motif, can be made into exclusive materials. For instance, very expensive curtains, household items, there are many forms. As the revival takes hold, with more exposure, Imdad is eager that Jamdanis will continue to be sold. Dedication and perseverance to ensure the ancient art of Jamdanis is not forgotten. Leonie Lakani, CNN, Demra, outside Taka, Bangladesh.